cream or is it mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? I think it's whipped cream. It's not. It tastes gross. Tastes gross? And your crepes smell like? Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Crepes smell like Play-Doh. It's Monday, first uh, first day of the Easter holiday for the kids. So they're at a tennis lesson right now. I'm on the way to the pub to drop off an envelope for a dude. And it's warm out. It's shorts. Yeah, it's that warm. Anyway, after their tennis lesson, the kids have a tennis lesson this morning. They're going to their Mandarin tutor. Yeah, this is their vacation. So it's the Easter holiday in Hong Kong, which is a one week off for the kids. Uh, adults get Friday, Good Friday, and then Easter Monday is a holiday. And Easter Sunday, of course, is a holiday. But uh, it's not really a travel holiday. Um, most families in Hong Kong travel on the holidays. Like Christmas, they'll go back to the United States or Europe. Summer, of course, they'll disappear. But Easter, because it's only, say, six weeks before the end of the school term, a lot of families have just said, screw it, we'll just stay in Hong Kong. So uh, it's a pretty nice, mellow week to catch up on other crap. Kids are having their first tennis lessons today. They've never really played tennis. And, of course, they keep up with their Mandarin tutors. We're also going to go hiking this week uh, up on the, tw the tweak, not the peak, the twins. The twins, which are two mountains, each the size of the peak. Don't think the kids are too thrilled about that, but we'll get them through it. I just noticed the answers to the small ones. So I have to figure out this while I have a hamburger. <laughs> and you don't know the answer yet? Can you figure that out? This has easy questions and he asked Yeah, you have the easier one. <laughs> Mommy can handle it. So I've been a slug all day. Just played like an hour of video games. Decided to go out for a walk and look at what I got. Fog rain, cold, wind. This is my punishment for being lazy. In central Hong Kong, it's just gray, not that cloudy, pretty calm. Up here, the wind is ripping, and the clouds and the fog are down low. Pretty crazy. I'm only 10 minutes away from a totally different weather pattern. So I've been off schedule since basically the moment I woke up. Just haven't been able to get everything going. Had to run kids around, had to run errands, had to pick up kids, kids got stuck in traffic. Blah. Finally, I'm back up here on the peak, but it's almost five o'clock at night. It's almost dinner time. So day is kind of eh. Oh, and I got a ton of work to do too. Yeah, so we'll get around to that. <music> Yeah, late night stroll. Uh, actually, I'm just waiting for a taxi. So, uh, I'm on my way to the bookstore. I had a discussion with my son tonight about George Orwell and Animal Farm. And he was very interested. And whenever my kid is interested in reading a book, 
I pounce, <laughs> get him the book, I put it before him as soon as possible so he can take that interest and finish off the book. So I'm running to an English language bookstore tonight to go see if they've got a copy of George Orwell. Definitely too young. So we're home, home back from Causeway Bay, and it was a pretty successful mission, though I did get a bit carried away. I figured why buy just one book. So we picked up Animal Farm. We picked up BFG. And their kids are kind of mixed on Doll. The older one doesn't really like them. But then I read Matilda and they both laughed. So I thought I'd give this one kind of for the younger one, maybe for the older one. Picked up Robin Hood for the younger one because he was asking who was Robin Hood, who was Robin Hood. And we picked up the classic The Railway Children. I'll probably read this to them at night. Uh, we read a story as they go to bed every night, and I thought this would be kind of a fun one. Then I picked one up for me, Arrival, which is the uh, movie that was out earlier this, last year. It was a pretty cool movie. And a collection of George Orwell's essays, which I found right next to Animal Farm. <laughs> Surprise. And I haven't read since college, so grab that. Anyway, back to bed. Talk to you guys tomorrow.